So good morning, December the 4th, 2014. This is CISG 112, 114, Section 2, Web Technology and Light. Today is day number 30 in week number 15. The very last class, which is a makeup class in an extra, the 15th week of the semester. And after this class, the course is over. Okay, let's get started. Welcome back to this class, the second makeup class in week number 15, the very last class in the semester. And we hope that you enjoy this course, although today is very cold and uh, the coldest day in the semester. Okay, now, um, since this is the very last class, I have prepared a very brief summary of the course design in the message of week 15, the very last message of this course. So let me go through this. Uh, as a conclusion to this semester's of work, it's a brief uh, summary of the learning design in this course, which have given you some information on how I plan my teaching and learning, how I plan what is being taught, how it is being taught, and how much I have to do with motivating students, as well as a little bit of reflections as a teacher. What should I do to help? Okay. So the first piece of information I would like to share is start from the very beginning. I need to think of some expected learning outcomes. That is the intended learning outcomes of this course. And as you can see that we have six intended learning outcomes in this course. And over the semester, you have already had the experience of working out four. Two of the second learning contract and number two in the third learning contracts. And these have spelled out some core themes and activities as well as topics of the course. And if I invite you to do that, I need to think about the needs of individual students. Do they have a lot of the cultural shocks? Because as you can see, the difference between this course and other courses, we do not do a lot of traditional lecture. We don't use the conference-based approach. Instead, we invite you to ask questions of your own and put down your thoughts in the form of journals. And we use the OIA patterns of thinking help to develop your understanding of a specific topic. And so when you look at the semester's work, particularly when you come to the Wudu environment, you can see a detailed plan of your activity in terms of uh, the weekly reading list, uh, the weekly before class, during class, after class, and end of the week suggestions, uh, the, the electronic resources per topic per day, uh, the videos and the discussions forums, as well as some hotlines to keep me in touch in case you have any difficulties. And my job is to make sure I have to act very flexibly in order to adapt to the student responses, although I have to insist that the pattern of work you need to go through every three to four weeks of three different cycles of first learning contract, second learning contract, and the third learning contract must be consistent in the sense that you know that you have to repeat the same kind of learning activity at least three times before you come to the midterm and after the midterm you have to directly jump into the last milestone of the course which is your learning portfolio. So what is being taught is basically the key concept. The key concepts of the, the ideas currently that has been very popular and of interest in the context of the technological work as well as society. Well, uh, what are those key concepts? The four common modules, okay? Remember the four common modules and the last one being the information literacy and competencies context, the um, social responsibility context, the, um, the uh, digital divine context, as well as something on the digital nations growing up online, as well as generation like, okay, all those documentary have given you some ideas that sometimes they're hard for us to divide those issues one after the other, and it comes all together. So the learning activity must be um, student center. That means uh, we take it very important that students must get involved in doing something uh, coming up with their own ideas, having the chance to discuss with your fellow students, and also have the chance to record your ideas in the form of reports, blogs, um, PowerPoints, and even digital stories. So those key concepts, if you look at the semester's work as of last week's teacher's message, 
you can see that in each of the free learning contracts, we give you the themes of inquiry-based learning, self-regulated learning, which is basically inquiry-based learning plus a learning management plan, and then the problem-based learning, which is a very specific problem-oriented, uh, self-regulated learning, together with the inquiry-based learning plan. So, um, by digging into students' deep to help you to learn for yourself, we need to make sure you go through the whole process of selecting a topic on your own, getting some information on the topic, which is basically the first step in research, and then share that information you got with your fellow students, come up with the discussions which could enrich the report, and then come up with some reflections, which is visible in your bra. Um, to enable you to try things out, to look at new contacts, but new topics, refract and learn again. It's very important. And sometimes if you look at the videos very carefully, many of the videos say something against one another. Okay? Uh, and if you are sensitive enough, you should uh, discover that uh, you are uh, invited indeed when you go through the week by week video to put things into perspective, you have to do some thinking. Okay? Uh, it is not just a linear process of stu uh, students sitting in a classroom listening to a professor giving you a lecture and then you just regurgitate the knowledge from the lecture in the form of homework, in the form of tests, or in the form of exam, and actually we do not have any exam. And so for students who are so much used to a traditional classroom, when you come here, you might got a little bit confused at the very beginning because what does the professor want does not seem to work. Because the professor will always ask you, what do you want to, to study from that particular week's reading? And um, that is one way uh, to give you what you should learn. And how it's being taught is basically is a relationship in the building. I want you to see if you can create a healthy relationship between the topic and yourself, between you and your learning partner, together with a topic, and between you and your learning team, together with a number of topics, and also definitely it's a and a facilitator of your work, I need to have a healthy relationship with each one of you to encourage you to study. For example, it's understood that uh, when you do the learning contract the very first time, you will, you will be amazed at how much work you need to do. And so, for the second time, the third time, and then I give you an encouragement score, okay, you select one, I give you a full score. And make sure that you become comfortable with the amount of work you have to do. Uh, but if you use the two, this style of self-directed um, learning, in some sense self-directed learning, well, you should have no problem uh, getting used to other topics of interest in your second or third years of study, particularly when you're doing some, some courses which require a lot of your genuine thinking, um, which asks you to write proposals of what you want to do, the professors will serve as a mentor, uh, to guide you through the process. So, how to motivate students becomes the responsibility of myself, uh, uh, answering questions through the Dr. Vance Q and the online, communicating with you, encouraging you not to be discouraged when you got the lower points in some part of the learning contract, because that is the overall experience. And basically, a little not from the individual of you, and when I look at some of the very elaborated journals, wow, Every time you put in so much effort, I feel very much encouraged. And so as a teacher, I learned a lot from you indeed. Um, overall, I, did, I personally enjoy this class very much because um, if you want to name someone, so she should not be in this class. She's here because her fellow, her fellow friends ask her as a support, and then so her fellow students uh, finally quit the course, <laughs> drifting, drifting her, yeah, and uh, we had a very interesting story, but uh, a lot of you have wonderful uh, stories like this, but I personally enjoy the kind of work that you, each one have been doing, like Anderson, uh, he's very hard working, but forgot where to put your midterm exam journal, and did the very last minute, and then uh, eventually we discover where it is, and then it's okay. So I think it's the kind of relationships that is building, is very trusting, it's, um, it's, that make me feel very enjoyable in this course. And I don't seem to receive a lot of uh, serious complaints, and I think uh, I think grateful for this class, although I've given you 
at the very beginning, increasing a lot of work to do. And uh, when I see you are willing to ask questions, and when you, I see many of you willing to uh, do something with your time, um, I think uh, I feel grateful to have a class like that. Sometimes uh, you will meet students who will not do anything and just give you a lot of complaint. But I don't have any problem with this class. And that's why I, I appreciate very much. Well, finally, as a teacher, I would like to express uh, some gratitude for all of your work. I have prepared two important articles for you as your continuations of your work. If you want to be sure what it means by deep learning is a very useful article, and you want to know the practicality of the portfolio you're doing here and the reasons behind this, read these two articles. This is my Christmas presents to you. <laughs> it's up to you if you want, don't want to read it, all right? So I think I basically wrapped up my brief um, uh, um, summary of the design of this semester. Uh, as you so, let me ask you, do you want to do some in-class bonus work now? Any people want to do it? Uh, I, I'm sorry, because normally I end the previous class half an hour earlier, but today, all of a sudden, three and four teams would like to grab the very last chance to do the in-class bonus work. And uh, we just end the previous class exactly at 11.30. And at the end of that, we want to take pictures together. So we were a little bit late today. So now let me, um, let me say it, um, it's a very good course. It's a very good semester with you. And um, I did not meet, I did not see Jack today. Yeah, maybe he's very, he's very tired, OK? So, just maybe I could get some Christmas music for you. Now, remember, uh, day number 28 is already up. I'm working with day number 29 and today's videos, and probably by tomorrow you can see them, all right? And as far as the learning contract number three, collaborations with your score, you will probably see it by tomorrow too with an extra link in the learning contract number three assessment report, okay? And one more thing, this Sunday before 11.55 is the deadline of all of the work. Don't do anything beyond this time limit, okay, it's enough, all right?
就可能的说，我自己也不要。It's a very good time uh, for me to answer a lot of questions from students in the CISG 114 Section 2 Web Technology of Life. This is the very last makeup class, day number 30 in the semester. This is week number 15. So that's it for today, and I hope you enjoy a very good semester. Until next time, the new course in January 2015. That's it.